Hello everybody, I'm Fedora Gamer, and welcome to another episode of Is It Fun? Today we are taking a look at Super Splatters. This game is really hard to explain. I can't even really give it a category or a genre. So we will just get right into it. I guess it's kind of a platformer, kind of a puzzle game. I haven't done this level yet. I've played a, a fair bit of this. Okay, I did that one. We'll do the freestyle level. All right. Let's see if I can put this game into words. You are these little blob creatures and you run a web show called Super Splatters. The, I don't know. <laughs> You explode yourselves, make fireworks go off, and try to get as many views as you can, which your views are pretty much your score. So you're pretty much doing jackass-like stunts on web show to get views. So this is this is YouTube Simulator 2013. That's what this is. Let's go ahead and start. This one's a freestyle, so... Uh, let's see. These uh, little clusters you see around, those are firework pods. You have to hit them with your splatter goo to activate them. Those little orbs are bonus points. It's always best to grab all of them in level. So we will hit this slide. Hmm. There we go. That one was interesting. And explode. There we go. Hit all of those. Oh, nope. You have to hit them with a significant amount of juice to actually set them off so this one I only have three super splatters in this level I don't know if you can actually do anything interesting with the shoe shoes a little random and now you can also reverse time like I am doing here there we go you hit space to reverse and then reverse again it's not really reversing time it's it's like flipping gravity back and forth, and time, and it's it's interesting. Let's see how I can do this here. Oh, not what I wanted to do. I'm I failed that level pretty hard. So I didn't hit those last two. To, I, it's been a little while, so now I'm trying to remember how to do tricks. Some of the tricks here. There is air strikes, which is what I'm failing to remember how to do. There we go. There we go. You right click to do an airstrike while you're in midair, then you can re-aim yourself. Let's go this direction and then try to flip back. Can I flip far enough? No, I can't. Alright, I'm not doing too well on this. We're just gonna slap those. Oh, nope. Reverse. Yes, I hit the last one. And I at least beat the level. I did pretty poorly, or will beat that part of the level. Now you see this gets a little bit more interesting. Um, I don't know if I wanted to do that. Okay, that's interesting. We got three of them put together now. I didn't know you could actually do that. And then we will use the flip mechanic to spread our juice as effectively as possible. And I did pretty well with that. Hmm. Okay, you can just tap to jump and then I'll do an airstrike. And try to spread the liquid as effectively as possible. Now I need to get those ones over there. And a few flips. Oh, oh no, I missed one. You gotta be kidding me. Let's try this again. See if I can squish two, three of them together again. I can. Reverse and reverse again. And reverse again. Can I get them all? I, I got them all. Nice. Hmm. We can do just simple jumps to reposition ourselves. There we go. Uh oh. I don't know if that was a good idea or not. Okay, we got all of those. We did miss all those little orbs up there, but they're not required to beat the level. 
<clears throat> so basically, I would call this a puzzle game, but it's a very free-form puzzle game. Wow, that is a big block of fireworks down there. Okay, interesting. Just go splat really hard on those. Hmm, okay, I missed quite a few of them. We will do this though. I was hoping to pull them all down with me, but it doesn't seem like that was in the cards. No, that one did follow me eventually. Let's try to pull that one back down. We'll flip. We'll pull it down this way. Wanna... Oh, flipped too much. Well, I can hit a few down there at least. A very few. Got the rainy day. Oh, there's spikes there. I see. You, you can use spikes to expose yourself in a more spectacular manner and get the rainy day stunt. This is all about comboing stunts together to get the highest view count as in score possible. Hmm. Try jumping a little closer. Um, no, that's bad. Okay, uh, nah. That went poorly as well. Hit the slide, hit the slide, and then I will hit those spikes. I will not get all of them, though. I will hit three stars, which is a good thing to do, but I will not hit all of the firework pods, so I did not complete the level. Well, I can get two of them together. Let's see if that can do anything interesting. Anything good out of this? Can I hit a bunch of them? Not really. It is, it is not an easy game. <clears throat> One thing I have to say about this game is it can, really oozes polish. Incredible amount of polish for an indie game. We're just gonna go and smack this thing directly. Get it out of the way. Oh, they're moving. I was hoping the juice would land on them. So these creatures you play as, doesn't really explain them. They apparently don't die from exploding. They come back after that. I'm doing terribly at this level. Do an airstrike slide. Actually, that's pretty well done. That was actually a really good use. Still, there's a lot left and only one splatter guy left. Let's do a jump. Jump. Do not hold on to that. Spread the juice everywhere. Ah, I'm not gonna beat this again. I probably should have done a level I've already done. Reverse, not helping me. Maybe a little. Nope. We will very much enjoy getting all of those down into one spot. That, that went better. Interesting. Not what I wanted, not at all. Nah, well I'm gonna hit some of those at least. Jump. Okay. Let's jump. Do an airstrike. There we go. Can I get the rest of them with the last guy here? Probably not, knowing my luck. How they move is... Oh, no, not what I wanted. Maybe? Maybe it is what I wanted. Hit him. Hit it. Yes. I hit them all. That took me entirely too long. And as you see with the ending of the level here, this game just has crazy amounts of polish. You also unlock new abilities by getting your popularity up, becoming a more popular web show, becoming a bigger YouTuber. Honestly, I wish it was really this easy to get 271,000 views. I would, that'd be amazing. 
Uh, oh, Josh did better than me. Josh gave me an FTL. It's on my friends list, so you can see your friends list scores. Now, here's another really cool feature that I will show you guys real quick. It is Splatter TV, which is the name of their series, their channel, whatever you want to call it. And you can go and look at the top players of this level and how they did it. And the top players of this game are pretty crazy. I will go ahead and watch this. It, it gets nuts when someone's really good at this game. So I would basically call this, it's somewhat of a puzzle game, high exotics. I always forget to turn that off. I'd call this somewhat of a puzzle game, but it's a very free-form puzzle game. You can complete the levels in many, many different ways. And as you see, they're chaining together a lot of flips to get a lot of score or, you know, view multipliers. A lot more stunts added to their stunt counter. Uh, I don't see how that was, that was... I don't know. It's interesting. You got a lot of stunts chained together, though. Definitely doing better than I did. Flips. Lots of flips. You'll see this a lot in the high... The high ranked play players. They flip constantly. And they, they end up like yeah, angling really strange things with their flips. And end up going different directions than what their initial momentum would have allowed. That was a really roundabout way to hit those and a lot a score multiplier from it. Oh yeah, that's interesting. Flip and then hit the bottom one. I, and take it completely off of that. Hit three stars already. 20 stunts already. I like this ability. I can show high, you know, really good players how they do it in my video without me having to actually be good at this. Interesting. But I don't know exactly what he's trying to do right now, but then an air strike to get start sliding again. Well, that was quite impressive actually. And he still has four splatters left. Oh, he re he restarted. He didn't like that result. You can, rest you can restart any section of the stage at any time, so. I I'm not sure what his goal is right now. Rather than make a, a slime rain. Interesting, got that clear over there. That's real weird. Just trying to group up the... Firework pods, it looks like. Interesting. It's very methodical about where he lines up the shots at. Okay, yeah, he's getting them all, all gathered up in one spot. Never actually thought of manipulating them that way. Hmm. As methodical as it is, it's kind of a slow process, that's for sure. They seem to be spreading, he doesn't want that. Hmm. Now he's got two of the super splatters gathered together, which seems to be problematic. I didn't realize the clip I picked was such a long one, though. One thing I will say about this game is it has a very good method of tutorialization. It introduces the different abilities and different stunts and different moves you can do to you gradually through the levels. It's not one giant tutorial. You just get a tutorial level pretty much at the beginning of each of the worlds, I guess I would call them. Each world has four levels, and the first one is generally teaching you something new, 
some new way of manipulating the game. So I really do like how they did the tutorialization. And as I said, okay, that's a lot of juice. Is he trying to grab and bring that other guy with him? And he's going to hit those spikes there. You have to do an air strike into the spikes. And just hit a crazy amount of those. He's probably disappointed that he left two of them. Yep, now he's restarting. Okay, let's not keep watching this. To get that highest, ridiculous high score like he has, he does it very methodically. Which isn't that interesting to watch. But it is very cool that you can learn all kinds of new methods and tricks from people by watching the highest players on every level. So let's see if we can just exit this. Escape. Not escape. Let's go to... I'll show you another clip that I watched earlier that was quicker and pretty awesome. At least if it's the same person on the top or not. So what do I dislike about this game? Not much at this point. We're just doing the, we're doing the thumbs down, thumbs up right now while we watch this. Not much. I mean, it seems like a real casual game at first, but the longer you play it, the more ridiculous amounts of depth you realize this game actually has. I can't really say there's much I dislike about this game. I definitely a style that might not be for everybody. It's you know definitely kind of puzzly game, physics puzzle game-ish, but in a very freeform and interesting manner. So what do I like about this game? Well, I, as I just mentioned, I really do like that it is a very free form when it comes to the puzzle aspects of the game. There is many, many ways to go about your objectives. Some very straightforward and simple, and it'll get you past the level, and you know, get past and get unlock more levels and get farther in the game. But if you want those high scores, and this is very much a high score driven game, you uh, have to spend quite a bit of time mastering the systems and figuring out how it all works and interacts. I do like that there is a ton of polish in this game. This game is polished like crazy. It just bleeds and oozes polish. A lot more than you normally see in an indie game. And I do like the, uh, the whole premise of it. It's, it's very interesting, very unique. It's about a web show, which you know, is something I can relate to being a YouTuber. Even though they have a much easier time of doing it. And the aesthetic, and they're the very cute little blobs. They are extremely cute, and they very much enjoy getting splatted. So you don't have to feel bad about splattering these cute little blobs. What is he doing? Wow, he changed his direction somehow. I'm not sure how that worked. And then he's retrying because it did not go as intended. Another, and also on the thumbs up, there is this whole watching Splatter TV, watching other people's plays, is a uh, very cool feature. And uh, you see how methodical these high-level players are. And he hit the spike accidentally. No, it didn't, it didn't completely splatter him. I'm not sure what his goal is. Oh wow, he, he activated that thing without even fully splatting his uh, super splatter. Well, anyway, this has been Super Splatters. You, the link will be in the description. This is on Steam. This isn't one game trying to get on Steam. It's actually been on Steam for a little while. The link will be in the description. I'm Victoria Gamer. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.